Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mama Ismazim, aka Slide Heap Academy, and today I'll be talking about my experiences with Apex Legends. Now, what is Apex Legends? It is a character driven squad based battle royale shooter game where teamwork is the difference between victory and defeat. Apex Legends is available for free on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, Nintendo Switch, and PC via Origin and Steam. But for this purpose and demonstration, we'll be using PC through Steam. The game is set in the Titanfall universe, a game made by the same company called Respawn Entertainment. You play in a squad of 2 to 3 players against 19 or more squads, totaling over 60 players in a game. Your goal is to survive till the end, while being chased by the ring in waves, in which to mention that the ring damages your health which is vital for survival. The game is heavily team focused, although there are options for solos in that is possible under the no fill option, implementing a hero based system. The characters you play are called legends, all have 3 abilities each, a passive, tactical and ultimate. The battle royale begins with the player jumping off a transport vehicle that carries all the players in the current game lobby, in which they choose a location to land, gather resources, and fight other squads in order to survive. The game then truly begins here. Empathy how team play enhances my experiences in Apex Legends. Apex Legends, no matter how you approach it, is still a squad based game of either 2 or 3 members in a team. Uh, for the better or worse. Generally, in real life, I will be considered the quiet one amongst many of my friends, preferring to work alone or only work with trusted close friends to avoid having to take the brunt of a lazy, ungrateful and selfish group member in an assignment or task. In public games in Apex Legends, however, it isn't really required to commute to your teammates strategically what happens around you, as each player in the squad tends to just play and frag out on their own and help each other out only when needed, since everyone are basically randomized into different teams. Even with this being the general norm of the game, I still choose to talk to my random teammates, giving out the necessary and helpful callouts to better my random chance to survive. It's because I've felt how much it sucks to be completely oblivious and unaware of your surroundings, only to either have teammates that trash talk your performance, or just stay quiet about the information they probably knew about the enemy, maybe their location, maybe the weapon they use, until your whole squad gets wiped out. And if I don't make this positive change for my teammates, then no one else will, and hopefully, they'll have a change of heart after witnessing my passion and care for my teammates' well-being to win the elusive, satisfying, and well-earned champion's title for being the best and last squad standing together. Buy it again! Go on, little bus, yeah? Oh. Although the toxic player count rises in all multiplayer games by the day, although I may cringe, whinge, and complain when my teammates abandon or do stupid things alone that leads to our in game lives eliminated, it's for moments like this. Why it, Azim? That I live and play Apex Legends for. Till next time, bye bye bye.